It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today we're going to talk about the two main events coming up and what you need to know about them and what's most important about them. So, first being the daily login rewards. Just open the game and claim these. Also, don't miss the topping removal burning time event. This was really enjoyed and really requested, so they are bringing this back. So, from October 10th, all the way through the 23rd, you can get these login gifts. These are going to be things that are going to be really important to every player. So you need to you need to log in. The first week, you're going to basically be getting an entire one cookie's worth of good toppings that you can use to help build out a cookie. So, for instance, solid almond medium plus six with damage resistance of 5%, yada yada, so it continues to go on. And as you can see, you get some apple jellies in week 2, searing raspberries, you get some EXP star jellies, some almonds, so they're not perfect, they're not perfect perfect, but for what they are, they're giving you a little bit extra. So getting apple jellies that have 1.6% cooldown, getting damage resistance almonds, with 5% damage resistance. These things are all very good. Very, very good. They're not perfect, but they're definitely good. So between all of the toppings that you can get between the weeks, if you log in and get all of them, you should be able to build out about two cookies worth of toppings if the stats hold up to what you want when you upgrade them to level 12. Because as you can see, they're only plus 6. So they're not going to be level 9. They're not going to be level 12. And they're not guaranteed to be perfect stats after you upgrade them either. So it's not a guarantee to be perfect toppings. But it is definitely a guarantee to at least have one good stat that you should be caring about when you get these. So that's an important thing for the daily login gifts. You need to log in and get those. Even if they don't end up being perfect, it's still free toppings that you can use down the road. Or at the very least, break down for free topping pieces if you for some reason choose not to use them. But the important thing is the October 13th update. So, the BTS cookies, they are special tier, for sure. There are seven of them. They will all use the Army Wish skill. Now, I think some people were getting this confused on Reddit, so I wanted to kind of clarify this. They will not be running all as one single cookie unit. That would make the field look very crazy. I believe you can just obtain them all. And you can go ahead and switch in whichever one you want. Like whichever BTS cookie you want to have in, you can bring in. So it's kind of like a favoritism thing, which is totally fine. And yes, that means you can't run them all in one team. But you can't for one big reason. They have the safeguard ability. So you can only have one cookie with safeguard in a team at any one time. So for that reason, even if... You were able to have you know multiple used you can't because of the safeguard ability so you have to choose one at a time they will all use the same skill here's the interesting part this skill it reads out like pure vanilla parfait and kind of candy diver all in the same time so they've got the hp shield if there's too many debuffs on your team so if an ally is suffering from a certain number of debuffs, the entire team will get a HP shield. So only one cookie has to be throttled too hard for the entire team to get a shield, which that's pretty cool. It's not the same in the sense of what Pure Vanilla does, which is guaranteed shield by a certain point. But with a lot of debuffs going around, that's a big deal. Another thing is that it gives debuff resistance. That's where it's parfait. You could also say it's kind of like Coco for the stun immunity, but here's the kind of dangerous thing, and here's why the BTS cookies won't be broken. If anyone uses a BTS cookie with the safeguard ability as a special tier cookie in their team, Expresso will greatly, greatly punish anyone for doing so, because giving stun immunity to your team means that you're going to give extra power of damage to Expresso. And Espresso already is very strong with the Magic Cookie. So be wary and be ready for that potential to happen. So that's one thing I did want to mention that's a big deal. 
it's still a great potential cookie for any of the seven BTS cookies. And the, sh the healing hopefully will be decent because it can overall be a pretty good setup. But nonetheless, out of the seven BTS cookies, you can run any of the seven. You just have to choose one to run in your team. And so that's pretty cool. But in addition, I did want to also cover that they will not be in the regular gotcha. That should be a given, but they are special tier. But the nice thing is, because they are special tier, they will automatically upgrade the skill instead of making us use skill powders. Now, whether they'll change that for Sonic and Tails or whether they'll reimburse us the powders for those cookies, I don't know that yet, but it is a nice thing that they're doing. And in addition, a total of 270 soul stones was required to promote a special cookie to five star. However, with the release of BTS cookies and the number of soul stones will be enough to ascend a special cookie to a 5A. So if you were able to get five star last time with Sonic and Tails with your efforts, you should be able to equally get a BTS cookie to a 10 star at this point. So as you can see with the adjustment, we will be delivering extra soul stones for the existing special cookies, depending on their grade. So if you have them at three star or above, you're going to be getting mileage points equal to a certain amount of soul stones. So that's really cool as well. And then of course, enjoy the special crossover mode, the BTS rhythm stage. So that's going to be a mini game that we'll have access to. You have to complete a special quest to unlock it, which I'll cover that when it launches. Rhythm stage is divided into rhythm and battle sections. In rhythm stage, you can attain crossover currency. Army bombs using the crossover gotcha. Concert tickets are required to play in the rhythm stage, and concert tickets recharge with time. At least one BTS cookie is required to play in the rhythm stage, but you can play with all seven of them. And then BTS costumes, you're going to have 21 costumes that we can pull for the BTS cookies. But the costumes will not be available for purchase with rainbow cubes. Instead, they will be in the crossover gotcha and the crossover mileage shop. So you're thinking, wow, I've got all these cubes I want to spend, though. Don't worry. If you remember, the bad four are coming, which is Werehound Cookie, which we got confirmation is going to be releasing to the platform as well as licorice poison mushroom and red velvet so those are who you can spend your cubes to try and get those costumes for we don't have confirmation if there will be a new costume bond because of those but nonetheless it's going to be pretty cool because we'll have that as well so there's quite a lot coming quite a lot to be excited for um i could go into further details and things about the event itself but it's going to be a pretty big event Main thing to take away is that it is special tier cookies, so you can play with them in regular game modes. They are a healer of some sorts with safeguard, so that means they can't be targeted. So consider this. Remember, safeguard is like having a fourth treasure. So it's like having Parfait, Pure Vanilla, and Coco as a fourth treasure on the team based on their skill. But also remember that Espresso can deal extra damage to your team if you have a BTS cookie on there. So do take that in mind. What are you looking forward to? Please let me know in the comments. And what is your most exciting point that you have for this event on its own? Is it for the Bad Four? Is it for Warehound Cookie? Is it for the BTS Cookies? Please let me know your feedback. Thank you and have a wonderful day.